In this video, I'm going to explain how to use image to image feature in Stable Diffusion. You can download any image, maybe use your own image, or you can use Stable Diffusion to generate a new image. In my case, I already generated a new image using text to image, so I'll be heading directly to image to image. So here, you can click to upload. As you can see, the image is loaded under image to image. And under the image, there are so many parameters and most of them are similar to those in text to image. Some of the parameters like denoising strength are something specific to image to image, which I'll be explaining later. So how does it work? Usually in text to image, we use a prompt, which is a written text input and we give that input and the AI or the model uses its own creativity and the input from the text to generate a new image. But in case of image to image, suppose in some case, you need a inspiration image or something that you already created and you want to tweak around with the same image or add some new elements to it. That's where image to image comes into picture. So how does it work? We use text from the prompt plus an initial image which act as an inspiration for the model to generate on top of it. It can add its own creativity this way we can add new creativity plus preserve the predefined characters of the initial image. So the preservation of the previous features in the image depends upon a parameter. So right here, denoising strength. Denoising strength is the parameter that defines how much of the initial characteristics of the image will be preserved. So the more the value of the denoising strength, the lesser will be the preservation. In simple words, the more you increase the value of denoising strength, the more will be the creativity of the model and we will lose more initial features of the initial image. Right? So usually I like to keep this value to 0.5. In this case, you can tweak around. It varies from model to model. And yes, something important. Make sure you use the same model, checkpoint and sampling method and sampling step to generate from image to image because if you use something else it will give bad results all right so let me explain the features one by one before we start to generate the image so resize mode first okay it has four options underneath suppose if we have width and height of our output image which doesn't match the width and height of the original image then we might need to use the resize mode options but before that let me tell you if you want to generate the same resolution of the output image as the initial image you can use this button right next to the height click on it and it will adapt the resolution of the initial image but in this case let me keep it as it is and let me show you these options resize mode just resize so let me hover over it it will resize the image to the target resolution you will find the output image very stretchy because in this case it's not going to play with the aspect ratio Okay, so let me generate it, but before that, let me adjust the CGF scale so that it doesn't get messed up over there. All right, and suppose I want to change the hair color to blue hair. Okay, and okay, all right, so I'll hit generate. Yeah, don't focus on the hair color right now, I'll get back to that later. For now, look at the image resizing it stretched out towards horizontal position and it looks very ugly all right so in next case we will crop and resize let's just generate the video let's just generate the image in this case it will crop the image initial image and try to fit it to the resolution of the new image all right as you can see here the image got cropped and let's move to the next step resize and fill here it will resize the image and then it will try to put the entire initial image into the new resolution by making it a little smaller and covering it the additional portion with the extra background let's look at it yeah as you can see the image over here is a complete image shown inside this particular resolution and the extra part is covered with the extra background 
that's added later okay then just resize and latent upscale it's also it usually produces very ugly outputs for me so here i'm going to stick with the real resolution of the image but i mostly prefer using crop or resize or resize and fill okay and next uh, you're familiar with cgf scale width height and everything i'm keeping cgf scale to 5.5 and denoising strength to 0.5 okay and i'll be taking the original resolution of the image and hit generate all right as you can see there is a slight blue color added over here to the hair okay and it's working on the entire image here okay it's taking the full image over here it's taking the full image using it as an inspiration and changing the characteristics from the prompt given but you can see there are there's not much consistency here other features of the image like eyes here the lip texture and other things got changed as well which are not supposed to get changed but this can happen in image to image it can be resolved in using the next feature which i'm going to explain later all right so let's play around with denoising strength suppose i change it to 0.7 and let's see what happens by increasing the denoising strength i'm giving it the permission to use more creativity and play around with the initial features you will see more diverse output this time yeah you see it played around with everything changed the color of the clothing as well okay so while using this image to image feature try to keep it to 0.5 or see what works for you all right so yeah so the problem that we got over here we won't be getting this problem in the second option that's in paint option here we are going to work on the specific part which we want to change by using a mask option so let's move there i'm going to copy the image to in paint as you can see image is loaded on the in paint uh, let me show you the features underneath most of them are same and there are some new additional parameters added here on the right hand side of the image you can see there is a pointer okay we can use this to create a mask or in paint on top of the existing image okay so i was trying to change the hair color right i'll in paint on top of the hair of the model the hair okay so as you can see i created a in paint on top of the hair all right so how does in paint work as we saw in the last basic uh, image to image function we were seeing slight deviations in the another features of the existing image though we were just targeting the hair in the prompt but still you could see some another inconsistencies in the facial features and the clothing of the existing image if you don't want that and want to target a particular feature or a part of the image then you can simply use the in paint feature to in paint on top of the existing part that you want to change or something that you want to preserve okay and can try this in paint option okay so let me explain the parameters mask blur so mask blur is usually set default to 4 so what's mask blur it is used to blur the mask this is a mask and before working on this image the model will Ma create a mask on top of this area and then start working on it all right if you increase the value of mask blur it will make the edges more smooth if you reduce it it will have a little sharp edges on the corners of the mask where you want to in paint the image all right so by default it's 4 but you can play around with it see what works most for you and then mask mode in paint mask in paint not mask if you select in paint mask that means it will in paint in the in painted area okay so it will regenerate the hair but if you select in paint not mask it will leave the hair as it is in this case regenerate the entire other image based upon the prompt given all right mask content next option there are four options underneath 
fill original latent noise latent nothing so i'll explain all of these in brief you can try them yourself fill as you see i created a in painted region over here so in case of fill it will take this in paint region it will fill the in paint region and then start working on the new image that it's going to generate but in case of original it's not going to do anything to the initial image and directly start regenerating on top of it and in third option latent noise it is going to add some random noise to the in paint region and then generate on top of it the last option is latent nothing so in case of latent nothing it is going to use the blend of the colors from the existing image put it on top of the in paint area and then generate on top of it you can use all these options one by one and see the difference all right so i'm going to keep it original for now okay and next option is in paint area usually in paint area gets confused with mask mode but they are both different things mask mode is about the image generation and in paint area is about the inspiration so let me explain it by example suppose i selected whole picture here so the model is going to take the entire image as the inspiration and then generate mask with respect to it it will create a more blending effect in this case but in case of only mask the model is going to work on the in painted area in isolation from the outer image usually when i use this option it creates very uh, edgy results so i prefer using whole picture but in case you select only mask based upon your requirement then you can use this next option only mask padding pixels which will define on how many pixels is the mask area going to work on right so the rest of the options i'll keep as it is okay let's play around with uh, denoising strength for now i'm just keeping it to 0.5 but uh, since it's in paint i'm going to bump it up to 0.7 for now and see the results uh, so let's generate the image okay now this case you can see the other facial features and everything is same to the initial image nothing changed here the in painted area is just regenerated the rest of the features of the initial image remain intact in this case i used original mask let's try latent noise mm. yeah you can see latent noise there's a noise on the background and that noise got filled later on while generating the image not much difference you can take multiple attempts you might like some images some will be perfect some might have some discrepancies in them but it will work for you yeah and here i generated the image using latent nothing I'm using the blend of the colors from the image here the here got more blended in with the background all right so let's move to the next option that's in paint sketch in some cases you might need to add some extra accessory or some extra features to the pre-existing image which doesn't exist in the real image in that case you can in paint by sketching on top of the image all right let's transfer the image to in paint sketch right the image got loaded most of the options that you see here are all similar to in paint option right you will see mass transparency over here so we can play around with this option this option will determine how much of the transparency you do you want to create in the mask to create a more blended image okay so let's see if i want to add a choker to the model in the image so i'll take the all right so i'll change in the prompt choker all right i'll add pink choker in the prompt i in painted a choker on the image and let's hit generate all right as you can see in the output the choker got generated looks good and uh, you can tweak around with the options to make it more blendy okay let, let me try something else here uh, here i kept the denoising strength to 0.7 let me try to increase it to 0.8 and let's try it generate 
Hmm. You can just play around and see where you get the perfection out of the image. Let me try to reduce it and see how does it work. Change it to 0.5. Okay, so this is what it generated. Yeah, play around with it and try to change the another mask content options as well and see how does it work. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching guys. In the next tutorial, I'll be covering sketch, impin upload and batch options as well. So have a nice day.